it would just be so catastrophic and I didn't want to do that to Ariana. Rachel Levis is ready to tell her side of the story. In a teaser for her upcoming podcast, Rachel Goes Rogue, the reality star formerly known as Raquel opens up about her shocking scandal with former castmate Tom Sandoval, who she had an affair with while he was dating best friend Ariana Maddox. Rachel explains how ultimately it led her to exit from Vanderpump Rules. I already made a mistake by returning to season 10. Looking back at that season, I was at my lowest of lows. Filming Vanderpump Rules after breaking off an engagement with James. That was my first mistake because I should have taken the time to heal and find a therapist. And I did the right thing by having a no contact policy with James, but when we're working together and filming together and he's flaunting his new girlfriend that he met three weeks after I ended the engagement, that hurt. The former beauty queen continues by saying she was not in a good mental space after having to film with ex James Kennedy in season 10 and could quote, only imagine the pain she would cause filming with Ariana. Looking back and seeing how much pain I was in, interacting with James on camera and seeing his new girlfriend, I could only imagine the pain I would cause by filming in the same environment with Ariana. Because being involved with somebody's boyfriend while they're still in a relationship is a huge betrayal and so painful as it is. But then to continue working with these people and interacting with them maybe not even speaking but like hearing about what they're doing and and seeing your person that you loved so much and thought that they loved you just as much as you loved them be conversing with this other person it would just be so catastrophic and I didn't want to do that to Ariana since making the choice to exit the show, the 29-year-old reveals she doesn't, quote, necessarily want to hear from any of her former castmates, but that Tom did reach out to send her a birthday message. Tom did send me a happy birthday message on my Instagram via comment, and he couldn't have reached out to me via text because I blocked him the day that I got my phone back after treatment. But he could have DM'd me instead of making a public comment. And I've been thinking about that a lot. And I think for him, because I'm just trying to put myself in his shoes, like was he doing this to be like spiteful or was he doing this to be like, I want the best for you? Because it's it seems like it could go either way. Rachel adds that having to cut off Sandoval was, quote, a really hard process, but after some time, she could, quote, see all of those red flags clear as day. The story I would tell myself about our relationship that we had, it seems so special and it seems so real, but when you look at the cold, hard facts and write them down on a piece of paper and see all of those red flags clear as day, that will break you out of your denial. The reality star also looks back on season 10 and says overall she regrets that she didn't prioritize her friends when she decided to get involved with Tom. I look back at season 10. Oh God, it is a really difficult season to watch back because I'm just cringing at all of the things and all of the moments that they caught on camera. It's really embarrassing, but I see a girl that is going through pain and doesn't have the right tools to tackle it. And she's coping in the way that she feels like her needs are being met by someone who's giving her adoration and attention. And I really did not prioritize my friendships when I got involved with Tom. And I regret that a lot.